Well, a guy who uh, who's not tiny. I just saw this today. This this stat uh, was a little mind boggling. A guy who's not tiny goes by the name of Nick Bosa, six foot six, two hundred and sixty six pounds. He's oh, only got geez. two and a half sacks <laughs> this season. Dude, he's only got. I, I think he's got uh, five, six solo tackles. Dude, Mike Dana having a sneaky good year. Pay the man. <laughs> Four and a half sacks. He's got he's got two more sacks than Nick Bosa. He's also got 10 solo tackles. Mike double. Dana is uh he's double M- Nick Bosa on literally both sacks and solo tackles. He is a steady workhorse. The, the dude has worked to get better through his tenure with us, and it's it's shown literally every year. You can you can you can point out certain things in his game from season to season that he has improved on. It's like wow, you can really tell he worked on that in the offseason. The dude is I mean, just reaping the benefits of of all the hard work. And we love it as as Chiefs fans. Because honestly, as a small market Midwestern team, we're all about the little guy that's got to work a little bit extra hard to really make it. And you see a guy like Mike Dana, no name. Nobody in the country is going to know his name besides Chiefs fans, even at this point. And he's he's excelling and he's making his defense what it is. Watch some Shout watch out. some team pay him Nick Bosa money next year. It'll be <laughs> hilarious. Shout out Mike Danit, dude. Out there just putting in work, being quiet. He's it, you're right. He definitely it feels like he embodies that like Midwestern smaller market like mentality overall because he doesn't he's not flashy about it he's not out here on on Instagram or or Twitter and and yeah. and being loud the dude shows up to work he gets better cashes a check goes home but to he's be at, at this see. point he deserves it more than Nick Bosa. And I did not expect <laughs> Nick Bosa's numbers to be that low. Like Nick Nick Bosa's clearly no slouch, but the only to be under a guy like Mike Dana, who nobody, like you said, nobody knows. That's that's incredible. Because what Mike or uh, Nick? People are still talking about Nick Bosa being Depoy Defensive Player of the Year. Is like his numbers aren't backing that up nah. by any means. And you know whether it's true or not. Like sure, there's plenty of things that have come out about it that lead to the uh, certain conclusion uh but to be don't like don't give players any reason to like come after you in the nfl you know like it would it would suck to be kind of labeled as a racist in a league where there's a lot of black yeah. players okay like <laughs> yeah. these motherfuckers yeah. might be coming at your head dude. <laughs> yeah i mean that's a that's a weird subject that if he said what we're not going to touch it because we don't said, have any fucking information. I don't know I, shit exactly. about it. I've just exactly. heard the rumors. So. There's there's a lot of rumors out there. If he's, but but you know we know he he has been fairly vocal in political leanings and things like that. Um, not saying that is why he has or hasn't said anything on the field. Again, we don't know. But uh, even the things that he has been pretty loud about. Could still set off a lot of people that he has to go up against, and that would. Uh, I'm just surprised that a lot of these players are as vocal as they are, given the locker room and uh, also having to go up against certain people. Yeah. Another one I'll of take those. Mike Dana over over Nick Bosa any day of the week. <laughs> that it. Hey, said it. It's a lot right cheaper here. too. 